Hey guys, this is Demon Slayer. Um, so for my contest, I said that I would teach you guys how to do some basic modding if you were interested. And originally, I was just going to t type up a really long post, but it's probably going to be really confusing, and I'm way too lazy to do it. So I'll just make like a video or two showing you how to do it. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how to do three things. It may be divided between one or two videos. I'm not sure. It depends on how long it is. But um. First thing I'm going to show you is how you can replace the music, like the title music that you hear or the in-game music for each race, and then I'm going to show you how you can replace the um, unit portraits and unit sounds, like the things they say. And then finally I'm going to show you how you can replace the background images if you really want to get into that. Um, so basically, first things first, if you um, want to, if you're curious, I mean, if you're interested in making a campaign, I think you should go for it because they're fun and I need people for my contest. And I think you should definitely make a mod because they make campaigns so much more interesting and it adds to originality and professionalism. So, yeah, you should do that first. Okay, so, um, first thing, in order to make a mod, you need to have this program, WinMPQ. Um, I will link all these programs into my post so you guys can download them. And basically what WinMPQ is, it makes an MPQ file which you later turn into an executable file which runs the mod. Um, so basically the way you use the mod is you put in files, you put files into this program and they replace, um, the, pr the files that StarCraft has. So basically first just click on new and um, just save it as something. Doesn't matter, I'll just save this as mod. And it won't actually save until you put a file in here, so... Like, yeah, you need to put something in there for it to actually save. So, first, like I said, first thing I'm going to show you how to do is replace the music. So, um... Start, um... In your StarCraft directory, there are a bunch of MPQ files that have all the files you'll need. In order to, like, any file that you want to replace, you can look for them in here. The ones that you should look at are Brood Dat, Brood War, StarCraft, and StarDat. Um, the, music's are in, the music files are in either Brood Dat or StarDat, doesn't matter which one you choose. You just need to look at it to figure out what the file name is and what path it goes under. So when you open up one of these MPQs, everything is in alphabetical order. So I'm looking for music, so I'm just going to keep going down past all this glue stuff. I'm going to go to um, music. One second. Maybe it's not in here. Hold on. Let me see real quick what it's actually in. Oh, it's in the StarCraft MPQ, not StarDat. Whoops. Okay, Brood War, whatever, that's fine. So go past all the campaign maps. Um, by the way, if you open up StarCraft.MPQ or BroodWar.MPQ and all you see is a bunch of unknown files, that means you need to add a list file to it and I'll fix everything. I'll add that to my um, post and explain that further on so basically just go past all the campaign stuff go past all the glue and then find music where is it one second it's right here here's all the music so basically you can see you have a whole bunch of different wave files and that's all the different music so first we have all of our protoss music right here and um the first one it says p defeat that's the music that plays when you're at the defeat screen while playing as protoss p ready room is the music that plays in the Protoss briefing. Protoss 1 is one of the tracks that plays in game. Protoss 2 is another track and Protoss 3 is another track. And P Victory is the track that plays when you're at the victory screen. So um and then you have all the you have the same ones but Terran down here. Um and here's the Terran ready room and then you have Zerg down here. And here's the title one. This is like the main music that plays throughout um like when you're not when you just have StarCraft open, you don't, you're not actually playing a map, this is the music that plays. So, in order to replace any of these files, you just have to get a WAV file and change the name to any of these. And then when you add it to your map, you just have to put it under the music path file. Or, I mean, path, file, path, I don't know what it, what it is, actually. So, right now I'm just going to replace the P Ready Room in my own mod. So, let me go back to my mod. Obviously, it didn't save, so let me just create a new one because I didn't put any files in. I need to put files in first to save. 
So I'm just going to create mod. And then I have a file right here. Here's one. It's a WAV file. So I'm going to make that the new briefing music. So let me just change it to PRDY room. That makes it the ready room, I mean the briefing room music. So then I just go here. I click on add. And then I find it where it's right there. And then you have to put in the, um, you have to put in the path or whatever. So it even gives you the example for music up here. You type in music backslash and click OK. And then it's adding the music right now. And there my mod is saved on my desktop. So here it is right here. Music backslash P ready room wave. So now that means when you run this, that when you go into the protest briefing, you'll hear this music instead of the original one. So um, let me just run that just to show you. Um, anytime you add a file into WinMPQ, it automatically saves. So you don't need to save, you can just exit out. And then the program you need to use, the program you need in order to actually run the mod is MPQ Draft. I'll link this as well. Um, it has two options, two buttons here. The first one is Create Self-Executing MPQ. And the second one is Load MPQ Patch. The first button is for like if you want to create an executable um, file, like if you're done with your mod and you want to distribute it, you use that. Load MPQ Patch, it just loads your MPQ file and runs StarCraft. So I'm going to use that since I just started my mod. So I'm going to select StarCraft, select StarCraft, go to Next, choose my mod. It's right here. If you already previously opened the mod, it'll be listed right here. If you haven't done anything, then you can click on Browse for MPQs. And here's my mod right there, so I click on Next. This is the plugin screen. I don't have any plugins, so um, I click on Finish, and then StarCraft will run. All right, so here I have StarCraft open, so I'm just going to go and play one um, Protoss mission so you can hear the briefing music. And you can hear it now. It's different. So, yeah, I'm just going to let you listen to it for a couple seconds. Alright, so that's basically all you do for the music. Um, basically, like, yeah, so, all, like, if you just want, whichever, um, um, like, music you want to change, you just look for it. If you don't know what the name is, you just look for it under either StarCraft or Brood War, MPQ, and then just make your um, WAV file name match the one that's in the MPQ, and then just type in music backslash, and then it'll add the file, and then you can play your mod, and it will have that music. Alright, so I just showed you how to change briefing music. Um, if you want to change the briefing music for Terran or Zerg, it's basically the same thing for Terran, it's T ready room and Zerg it's Z ready room. Um, I'll change it for the t uh, main menu music, just so you can hear how that sounds. So, um, I don't have any other waves prepared, so let me just go and find some random like track that will work, turn into a wave real quick. Hmm. I don't know, what's a good one? Go back, go back. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I don't know. Let's make it the shattering. That takes a long time. Whoops, should have picked something else, but oh well. Alright, so let me just make this a WAV file, obviously. And I'm going to save it as title because that's what the um, the file is saved under in the StarCraft MPQs. And while that's doing that, um, I'm just going to show you. You can go under Brood War MPQ, doesn't matter. Go past all the campaign stuff. And where's the music? Alright. Uh, here's the music. It's music backslash title wave. So I have my title right here. That's done. Don't save. Okay, so I'm just going to open up my MPQ now. I'm going to type in... I'm going, to, I'm going to click on add, I'm going to add title wave, type in music, backslash, and now it's adding it to my um, mod. Alright, and I don't really know if you have to X out when it be cure or not when you want to run the mod, but whatever, I'll just do it anyways. So now I'm just going to run it again so you can hear the um, title music. 
Alright, so now I have StarCraft open, and you can hear the music. It's the Warcraft music, it's not the regular StarCraft music anymore. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. All you have to do is just figure out what the file name is, and the StarCraft or Approve or MPQ, and then you just pick a wave, or put, um, change the file name to whatever it is, and then buy StarCraft MPQs, and just put in your mod, and you'll change the music. It literally takes, like, 10 seconds to do, and it adds some originality to your map, I mean, I mean, I know, like, you're not using your own original music, you're just ripping it from some other game, but it still shows that you, um, took the time to think out what type of music would fit your campaign, so, uh, yeah, that's basically it for the music section.